Welcome to Talking Live. I'm so excited to have Sean Stewart. He is the eldest son of Rod Stewart and Elena Stewart. He's absolutely adorable. You're going to love him. He is coming on to talk about some exciting projects and relaunching a new clothing line. Sean, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much, Dr. Robbie, for having me. I'm so excited for everyone to hear what you're up to, but I know that you talk a lot about your parents and you're very good at style. I know every time we talk, you mention fashion and you know all about all the different top designers. You have very stylish parents. Rod Stewart is known for his fashion sense and your mom is forever beautiful and was a model. So tell me a little bit more what it's like to be their son and how they influenced you. Um, they influenced me by their style and me looking up to them as fashion icons. And actually, I'm wearing Ralph Lauren right now, St. Laurent shirt. And so I definitely get the style from them. And you were a model, too. You're also good looking, but you were a model, too, for a long time. You're not too bad yourself, Dr. Robbie. <laughs> This is why I love Sean. He's very charming. Mm -hmm. uh, so your parents obviously had an influence. Um, you're part of Hollywood royalty. And you talk about how this also influenced your entrepreneurial sensibilities. And you talk about a very powerful childhood memory that includes a lemonade stand. Yes. So when I was younger, my goal was to be an entrepreneur. So I always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So, and I always knew that I had that skill in me. So when I lived on Carrollwood, every Saturday and Sunday, I would set up a lemonade stand because I knew that I could sell the star buses that would pass by something. So I was like, lemonade, let's start with lemonade. So I started a lemonade stand. I was making $500 a day, every Saturday and Sunday. And we had lines down the street. Then I started um, selling my dad's autograph because I knew I could get <laughs> more money than the lemonade for that. Did your dad make you split the profits for that? No, I kept it all yeah. myself. Put it in my piggy, piggy bank. <laughs> I mean, I was That's... too young to have a bank account, but I yeah. knew that I wanted to save up and put it somewhere. So I put it in like this little piggy bank at my so house. So you have a sense of business and also you've traveled all over the world. What do you think it is about your traveling that influenced your sense of, of beauty and just really lifestyle, all things beautiful, Sean? So I think traveling and growing up a lifestyle that I did, I love it. Like I've always loved going on tour with my dad. I've always loved going to hotels, staying in different hotels. And it's something I'm passionate about. So I'm actually working on a show right now for a big streaming network that's built around luxury and travel, which I'm super that excited about. I mean, we can't, I can't really tell you what streaming platform it is, but I'm ready okay. to make an announcement when we're ready. Well, you'll come back, Sean, I hope, and tell us all about being a host. And what do you see yourself doing on this show? Like, is there a specific focus? What is the audience going to tune in and see? Well, what the audience are going to see on this show is something like the lifestyles of the rich and the famous. This is Roman Litt's Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. <laughs> But something like that, but, you know, luxury, people want to see the new hot spots. People want to see the new hotels. People want to see the new re restaurants in Mykonos and that party kind of scene. And I grew up around it and I know it very well. And I definitely know style. So it's something I'm passionate about and love doing. And also you, as you said, Sean, you had that special insight because you were part of that in crowd, kind of the young and the beautiful. And I have to say, I listened to your song last night and I loved it. Yes, it's such a great song. I was I produced it and wrote it partly myself with a I, you, you have an amazing voice. Thank you very much.
I'm like surprised you're not a singer. As I mentioned to you when we were talking privately, my secret wish, it was not a plan by, by any means, was to be a rock star. Like that seems like such a cool job, but I can not sing. So, and I come from a family that nobody should sing. Like we care about people, so we're not going to sing. Did you ever flirt with the idea of being a rock star like your dad? Because you have an amazing voice and I'm going to put up uh, your music so people can hear it as well. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Yes. I always had a dream of putting out an album when I was a kid and running a record label. When I got into music, I think it was too difficult to fulfill those shoes mm. and to those expectations of being Rod Stewart's son and be him being the biggest singer of all time. But I always loved music. So I think I kind of put out one song. It was on a huge soundtrack, the Brat soundtrack. So I think, you know, trying to figure out my place in life, which has been difficult, but I think I really now figured out what I want to do and I'm ready to go. I'm so glad that you said that because there's been a lot in the news about Nepo children and the Nepo child is somebody who's lucky enough to be born into a high profile family like you, Sean, and it gives them access to certain things, but there's also a dark side too of being a Nepo child. And you've experienced both. Like when you talk about, you're a great singer. I, I'm downloading your song to my playlist, just mm -hmm. FYI. Um, but how hard it is sometimes when you feel you have two parents or a parent that's a huge star, like where do you fit? Do you want to follow in those footsteps or do you want to create your own trajectory? I think I want to create something that's mine and this mm -hmm. whole Nepo baby thing. I think it's a judgment. And I think everybody's the same, no matter what their family is or what their family does. We all, you know, we all have feelings and we all are people, but there's like this judgment on mm -hmm. kids with famous parents or wealthy parents. And I don't think it's fair because we all feel the same and we all want to figure out where we will belong in life. And we actually want to be successful as well, like everybody else. And we want to work. Yes, it comes with, you know, the ends, but it also comes with things that are kind of dark as well. And I think sometimes people all that just is people just have this judgment about it. You're so right, Sean. And I think, um, you know, as a psychologist, that a lot of it is envy and also assumptions, right? That somehow, and I'm, I'm sure you've experienced it in your world, that you're given everything. So things are easier for you than for other people, when in fact, that's not necessarily true. Life is hard and people have different challenges, no matter what family they're born into. Very true. It's very, tr it's like I worked with homeless kids at the Union Rescue Mission. I won an award and just for five years, it was such a grateful feeling to give back and help others. And then I worked at a, um, this place in the Valley, this church, an after school thing. So kids would have something to do. You know what I mean? Instead of going to the gangs, instead of going to selling drugs until to, instead of going home to their abusive family. And it gave them something to be happy about and look forward to each week. And I would bring gifts every single week for the best player award. And this, the kid, the kids, the faces on those kids were just incredible. Oh, I'm sure they were so thrilled to have you, Sean. And you were a role model for many. And the fact that you used who you are and what you have to give back to kids who really need that. And you won an award for this also from the Union Rescue Mission, which is near and dear to your heart. Yes, thank you very much. I did win an award and it was an amazing feeling and so grateful. And now you want to give back in terms of your talent and you have a new clothing line, which I'm really excited about. Called yes, I do. Dirty Weekend. Yeah, so I have this uh, clothing line called Dirty Weekend. We're a lifestyle brand that's built around the weekend. Whatever your weekend is, get dirty, have fun. Who doesn't look forward to the weekend? You know, as an entrepreneur, you got to learn how to sell. If you can't sell your brand or sell yourself, then you shouldn't be in business. You're so right. And it's also having a sense of, you know, what people want to buy. And 
part of what they want to buy, Sean, is kind of your sophistication and your coolness. And if anyone looks on your Instagram, you know, people want to, or at least I, I want to dive into it because it looks so pretty and picturesque and glamorous. Yeah, we're working on some new content right now for a photo shoot. Um, so go to dirtyweekend.com right now, place an order, go order our Dirty Weekend LA Royalty hoodie that is 80% cotton and 20% polyester. The fabric is so soft with a guarantee. Once you put it on, I promise you, you will not want to take it off. Well, should I get one too? Is it for people my age? Is it any age, Sean, or have I aged out of it? Well, let me let me ask you a question. <laughs> Do you not look forward to the weekend? I so look forward to the weekend, but I have to tell you, I also look forward to the week because I love what I do. Exactly. But every, a lot of people, no matter what they love to do, still look forward to the weekend to go out and have some fun, either mm -hmm. relaxing by the house, um, relaxing at the beach, going out at night. Dirty Weekend is a brand for everybody. I, I love that. And it really does speak to everybody because you're right. Who doesn't love the weekend? And that's what's so special about you, Sean. You are very accessible. You're not snobby. Um, people relate to you and I think want to be like you. And that's why I am so glad that we're going to look forward to seeing shows that you're in. We can all experience you through your new clothing brand. And I'm going to listen to your music. The one record that I like, I really like it. What we do here is we do a quick five where people want to know a little bit more about you. Can you answer some of these questions for me? Yes, I can. Okay, Sean, here we go. Best childhood memory. Being with my mother and my father at our house in Malibu when I was a kid and being on the Oh, board. how old were you? Four. Four. And you remember that far back. Good for you. Yes. Favorite song of your dad's? If you are my body and you think I'm sexy. That's my favorite too. Me That's too. a great one. <laughs> it's a really is a really good song. Same. Okay. Decade that influences you the most in terms of your style. The nineties. You want to say more about that? Because of the thick lapel suits and the way suits were made. That's why I love Tom Ford so much. And you wear it well. You certainly do. That's okay. another one of my dad's song. You wear it well. You wear it well. Yes. Yeah. See how the unconscious work? It just came out of me. All right. Inspirational word for 2023 for you. Happiness. Oh, that's such a good one. And I think Favorite. it should be a word for everybody. Happiness should be the word for everybody. I think we're in a very divided world and we need to yeah. focus on what makes us feel as good as possible. And most people uh, feel very successful when they can identify themselves as happy. So I'm in agreement with you there, Sean. Favorite color? Blue. Blue. And you did tell me that your mom is in the background and she was going to visit us. Mom, hair check. Hair check. And so Sean has two very good looking parents. He was just lucky. So Elena Stewart is his mother. She's also... Yeah. She's, she's also an author. And Elena, I don't know if you know this, but I know one of the authors that you worked with, you wrote one book, was it connected to Farah, your best friend or not? The first wrote, uh, the first book I wrote was called My Journey with Farah, a story of life, love and friendship. And that was a New York Times bestseller. And then the second one was my memoir, which was called Rearview Mirror. Well, I am told that you are an excellent writer. So, and this is from writers who are talking about your writing skill, which is also natural and natural talent. I love your son, by the way. He's, uh, I want to adopt him. I, I want to adopt you. him. But oh. anyway, okay. Well, thank you for joining us, Elena. I appreciate it. Sean, I adore you. Where can people find your clothes, you, more about you? Go to Find Dirty Weekend. You can go to www.dirtyweekend.com or you can go to Sean Stewart on Instagram or go to our Instagram for Dirty Weekend at the Dirty Weekend official Instagram. And we will have links up. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank You're you adorable. So much. 
much success. I support you um, all the way. And thank you to our Talking Live audience for joining us. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, Dr. Robbie.